To ensure proper operation of the electronic controller modes, the altimeter is initially positioned to the local barometric pressure. Prior to the first flight of the day, all operating modes are checked. Also, the pressurization outflow valve is checked to assure full movement in at least one operating mode. After completion of the pre-flight check, the flight ground switch is confirmed in the ground position. The initial setup of the pressurization system is made during the second officer's panel check. Let's assume a departure from a field elevation of 660 feet, a planned cruise flight altitude of 35,000 feet, and a destination elevation of 50 feet. Normally, the system is operated in the automatic mode, which provides automatic control of cabin altitude, rate of change, and differential pressure based on operator-selected destination airport and maximum planned cruise altitudes. The destination airport elevation is set by rotating the landing altitude selector. The selector outer knob sets altitude in 1,000-foot increments and the inner knob 10-foot increments. Destination airport elevation is displayed in the landing altitude select indicator. The maximum cruise altitude is set by pushing, then rotating the flight altitude selector. Pushing in on the flight altitude selector also resets the barometric reference for the electronic controller. Maximum cruise altitude is displayed in the flight altitude select indicator. The standby mode's cabin altitude and rate of change is also determined and selected during the initial setup. These inputs do not affect the automatic mode, however they ensure the standby mode will maintain proper cabin altitude if the automatic mode fails. Standby cabin cruise altitude is determined by the cabin altitude scheduled placard. Once determined, standby cabin cruise altitude is set by rotating the cabin altitude selector. The selector outer knob sets altitude in 1,000 foot increments and the inner knob 10 foot increments. The selected altitude is displayed in the cabin altitude select indicator. The cabin altitude rate of change is set using the cabin rate selector. The normal position for the selector is the index mark, which provides a rate of change at 300 feet per minute. A rate of change from 50 to 2,000 feet per minute is available by rotating the selector. Prior to takeoff, the flight ground switch is moved to the flight position which pre-pressurizes the cabin by partially closing the outflow valve. The cabin descends to approximately 200 feet below takeoff field elevation at 0.125 PSID to minimize pressure bump at liftoff. After takeoff, the pressurization system is checked for a normal cabin rate of climb and increase in cabin differential pressure. As aircraft altitude increases, the cabin altitude should climb at a proportionate rate until proper altitude is reached. The maximum climb rate is 500 feet per minute. During climb, 29.92 is set in the cabin pressure barometric selector when passing transition altitude. This setting provides barometric corrections to the automatic mode. During all phases of flight, differential pressure should remain at or below 8.6 PSID. During cruise, the actual aircraft altitude may vary, however, the cabin altitude remains constant. 
This prevents cabin altitude changes during turbulence. When descent is initiated, standby cabin altitude is reset at 200 feet below the landing field elevation. As the aircraft altitude decreases, cabin altitude is checked for a normal rate of descent. After landing, the flight ground switch is positioned to ground, which depressurizes the aircraft by fully opening the pressurization outflow valve. Let's look at cabin pressurization as it relates to a planned cruise altitude above 22,000 feet. Prior to takeoff, the cabin is pressurized to 0.125 PSID. After takeoff, the cabin climbs in accordance with flight altitude at a predetermined rate. Prior to reaching planned cruise altitude, if the aircraft levels off at an intermediate altitude, the cabin also levels off. When the aircraft climb resumes, the cabin climb also resumes. The selected cruise altitude and 8.5 PSID occur at approximately the same time. When descent is initiated, cabin altitude automatically descends to 200 feet below the destination altitude at a rate of 350 feet per minute. During cruise, if the aircraft climbs above the selected flight altitude, the scheduled cabin altitude is maintained to a maximum differential of 8.6 PSID. After 8.6 PSID is reached, cabin altitude increases to prevent exceeding the maximum differential. Now let's look at cabin pressurization as it relates to a planned cruise altitude below 22,000 feet. Prior to takeoff, the cabin is pressurized to 0.125 PSID. After takeoff, the cabin climbs or descends to maintain an altitude of 200 feet below the destination altitude. In this example, the cabin descends to the associated altitude, where it is maintained until landing. 